So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope cheese every time my phone rings. It's so this, this retro just came out recently, or at least a few a month or so ago. I'm kind of late on this review because I was out to see. I was on the plane for it. So uh, I missed the initial release on the stickers app, so I went ahead and went on Goat. The resale value for these isn't too crazy. Uh, the retail was two hundred dollars, and I got these for two hundred thirty including the shipping and handling with the tax. So all in all, I really only spent about like 15 to 18 dollars over retail because normally when you buy a shoe that's 200 dollars, the sneakers out will charge you 12 dollars for the shipping and handling. So at least that's how it was when I bought my Air Jordan before Fire Red back in 2020. So here are the shoes right here. The Air Jordan 7 Citrus. The color is red, black, and orange. So the upper of the shoe is made out of suede. And it's like the suede where you swipe your finger and change its colors. So this is suede.newbug, that's how you can tell. So the only thing that really sucks about suede is that the higher the quality of suede, the easier it is to damage because it's like soft and like it attracts fingerprints and dust particles like crazy. But personally, sevens are one of my favorite models. It's fours, ones, Sevens and threes and then fives. Actually, yeah, I put sevens over fives because they're more comfortable. It's also, in my opinion, the most comfortable Air Jordan because the sock liner is in here. The sock liner is also pretty similar to the sock liner in the Air Jordan 8 retro. Just like this part right here. And so for these, I recommend going true to size. I got these in a the size 11. And this is how it is out of the box. Factory lace is laced up all the way to the top, or almost all the way to the top. There's two eyelets left open. And yeah. So this shoe itself is pretty simple. Uh, it's not too much going on, but it's usually the simplest, simpler colorways that, are, that usually stand out more to me, as you can see. The other pair of sizes I've been trying to get for a while are the Raptors. You can either read a, a DMP pack, or the Fine Moments pack, or the most recent retros that came out like, I want to say it was 2012, was it 2012? It's probably 2012, the last version of the Raptors that came out. But anywho, and another cool thing about the 7s is like, the soles, they look like Lego blocks in my opinion. That's another cool feature I like about them a lot. And the tongue is super soft. And then the inside, the Jumpman logo, I don't know if we'll show, but the Jumpman logo is like a dark red. Similar to what's on the outsole of the shoe. I don't know, maybe I gotta open it up a little bit. Well, if it doesn't show, it's whatever. But yeah. I'm gonna give you guys a quick 360 of the shoe again. On the back, it has another sweet three from Michael Jordan's jersey. Air Jordan on the tongue. Another quick 360 view. Yeah. I've been wanting these for a while. I was going to get the but since these are more recent, I tried to get these instead because they're newer and the soles will last a lot longer because the older shoe is the more it's in storage, the soles start to fall apart because of like, uh, sometimes it'll either be the temperature oxidization, if it's a clear sole, it can get really yellow and it start crumbling apart. So I try to get the newer retros as often as I can. See, it, this is example of what I was talking about. The sleeve, it pretty much collects anything in the area like what this piece of string already got caught onto the suede. Like, I'm gonna have to. If I ever wear these out, I gotta take a lint roller. These things, it can get really annoying. I can't even pick this all with my finger. 
That's how I start the thread is up there. This little thread right here. But yeah. With sweat shoes, you definitely gotta keep a lint roller in your arsenal because if you are a person that's like really nitpicky or a, a clean freak, you're gonna notice when the sweat gets dirty, dusty, or retracts any lint or anything like that. So that's really the only con of the shoe. Other than that, very comfortable, nice colorway, simple, can match with a lot of stuff. One of my friends, Aiden, he was pointing out that this looks like the Germany flag. I was like, he's not wrong. The Germany flag, the bottom color is yellow, but in certain cameras, in certain lighting, the orange looks yellow, so still, I might try to get a Germany soccer jersey because I think it'll look pretty cool with this. But yeah, so uh, overall my experience with GOAT was really good. I didn't have any issues. They sent the tracking number, so what happens is they, whoever you're buying it from, they ship it to Ghost facilities and then go, they go ahead and have someone inspect the shoe. And then they go over all these things. The color and shape, material and structure, stitching, sole, label and tag, the SKU and size, the right and left, shoe condition, box condition, accessories. So they tell me that this box was in decent condition. Uh, there's just like a little, like, uh, dents in the corner of the box, but I'm, I'm going to assume that's just from it being shipped across the country. And you can see there's like some little dents in the corner, some discolored of the box. But none, nothing that bothers me. Like, it's not kick, making my OCD kick. I also came with a black goat sticker. Probably gonna put this on my Mac case. And yeah, this is the stuff I was talking about when they authenticate the shoe. This all the things that they have on their list. So these pass. So if they don't pass, then they'll send your refund and then you get a notification to go to app. So, uh, personally, I like GOAT better than StockX because they're faster with the verification and they have less of a, they have a higher success rate in authenticating shoes. I don't know what happened with my StockX account, but someone tried to like hack into my account and try to buy some off white ones. So then they banned my account, even though I tried to reset the password. So now I can't use StockX anymore. And stuff like that is things that piss me off about StockX. But that's a story time for another video. But yeah, also on Go, you can buy pre-owned shoes too, which StockX does not give you an option to do. So if you're like me and you're just like a collector, you actually wear your shoes, getting them pre-owned doesn't really bother you too much. Then you can get them on Stock, uh, not Stock, it's on Go. You can see the quality of the shoes, which is really cool. They have the pictures. They make them take it from all sides, from the, the out, outer side, the middle side, the sole. The insole, the tongue, the condition of the box, all that good stuff. So yeah, definitely a positive experience for GOAT. Definitely be shopping with them again. I'm going to get the Green Bean 5 soon because I noticed that the resale on those is really low. And I was looking at it, it was like $161. So with tax, shipping and handling, it'll probably be like $185 to like $190, which is still below retail. So that's pretty great. So once in a while, I like to follow the trend of uh, the price, like the resale price of sneakers. And if it's a a mass release and it's not a limited drop then a lot of people are going to buy them eventually sell out on the sneakers app and other sneaker websites but on the reselling sites they're like oh wow this isn't really like things something that's catching with five and then they'll eventually just drop the price shoes that this won't happen on are for limited editions or like holiday releases like jordan 11s jordan ones most jordan ones they're going to resell just because of the fact that they're jordan ones especially if they're the og colorways or the high top model, so yeah. So next part of the video, I'm gonna show you guys what these shoes look like on feet and uh, how they look like with different pairs of pants. On the next part of the video, and I'm out. Peace. Cue ball. Cue ball. Yeah. Scatter. These haters love to talk. I don't say no jump. You can knock it off. I ain't finna stop balling. Switch, saucing, saucing. These haters on me holding all these grudges. grudges. I'm around the world fulfilling my calling. They on my status cause I'm up and popping. Popping. Ballin', ballin', so I 
Saucin', saucin'. These haters on me holding all these grudges, grudges. I'm around the world fulfilling my calling. They on my status cause I'm up and poppin'. Stop it. God with me, I know yeah. Every step I take, God grow. I grow Life without him, I struggle Every move I made, I stumble yeah. Raised in the hood, real gutter I was down, but now I'm up yeah, yeah. I'm on a new route now Going up and never going down Stay Jesus up. on my side, no doubt he I up. was lost, but now I'm found For all you people pointing at me fingers Cause I turned my life around I thank God for everything I went through in this life Even the hardest situations in my darkest nights I felt this world throwing punches, but I knew how to fight You smoke L's, I take W's, my team winning right I see these haters running lip, they trying to see me die They said I'll never make it nowhere, don't believe I I'm up here So what's the real reason why you got issues with me? Is it in our past? Do you even really know me? See, I won't ever know until you tell me something All I know is I forgive you when I've been ballin' Saucin', saucin' These haters on me holding all these grudges, grudges I'm around the world fulfilling my calling They on my status cause I'm up and poppin' Stop it, ballin', ballin' Saucin', saucin' These haters on me holding all these grudges Fuck how you feel I'm around the world fulfilling my calling They on my status cause I'm up and poppin' All white on me, cause I'm froze My name is Cubo, if you ain't already know Oh my lord, I gotta represent some more All them demons, they be lurking, trying to take all in my soul You can't have it, trying to buy me, but I'm already so Yeah, yeah, so my soul to the Lord, the Lord Yes, I did, covered in his blood, yeah, you know I'm fully clothed so I ain't worried if they pull up with that drum Ooh, I was a drummer too Banging on them two on the block They was rocking red, I was rocking blue All the locals too, back then But God changed me too I was a fool, I didn't know what to do But God made me new He could do it to you too Still the same person, yeah Definitely. You woke up. I seen Caleb in the matrix. Came from the lowest ground, going up and going down. Put in word, don't make a sound. Put it out, driving wild. When it come to my way, I can't tell you my secrets. Wanna do it my way, then just study my language. I want for y'all to understand where I came from, grieving. And I've been watching everything I witnessed the seasons. Respect my name, respect my face, what I attain. I was born for this, but more than working, I don't play. Respect the struggle and my pain, respect the change. I became better, but I mean, I'm still the same. Interpret my words correctly and understand. You can elevate, but who you are will never change. You still you at the end of the day. And that's gonna follow you way beyond the grave. Tell me where were you at when I was fighting them demons? The log on me at our time in the streets, I was beeping. Police locked me up for carrying and concealing. And I was in the cell for felling these belly beating. Having dreams that I was free, I ain't realize I was sleeping. Living nightmares when I woke up, facing time I was tweaking. I know people talk down on me instead of praying for my spirit. But no weapon formed against me, finna prosper on Jesus. Get the Bible on me daily, I ain't know I was reading. Call yourselves believers, but be acting like heathens. I thank God for dark and nights. You see who's shining and gleaming. I never lost my light. I kept shining and reaching. When it come to my way, I can't tell you my secrets. Wanna do it my way, then just study my language. I want for y'all to understand where I came from, grieving. And I've been watching everything I witnessed the seasons. Respect my name, respect my face, what I attain. I was born for this, but more than work.